Hey everyone, welcome back to Cook With V. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite pasta dishes, seafood spaghetti. It's really simple, easy, delicious, and at the same time, really impressive as well if you wanted to share it with your loved ones or have people over for dinner. So for ingredients, we have our seafood, we have a pound of mussel here, already cleaned and ready to go. Got fresh mussels, but if you don't have fresh mussels, you can use frozen ones. For shrimp, I'm using six shrimp per person. So these are medium shrimp already deveined and peeled. And then I'm using about a cup of clam meat that's already out of the shell. You can use any type of seafood you want, really. Scallops would be great, squid would be good too. It's just what I have right now in the fridge. For the sauce, we're using one can of crushed tomatoes. We have one onion, about six cloves of garlic, and then we have some red chili flakes for people who want it to get a bit spicier. We got some dried Italian spices, so oregano, basil, parsley. If you don't have all of those, just you know, use whatever you have. Um, salt and pepper, and then for the sauce, we got butter and some Parmesan cheese. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil our water for the pasta. So I would take a large pot and then put our pasta in. Um, how much pasta to use for a regular one pound pasta package was for four people. So I'm gonna use half of that for two people. And then remember to season and salt your pasta water. So while the pasta water is boiling and the pasta is cooking, let's start prepping our ingredients. We have one onion here and we're gonna dice it. Cut it in half. Slice it lengthwise. So let's get the sauce going. We have a pan heated up to medium. I'm gonna add some olive oil, about three tablespoons. Once oil is heated up, we're gonna add our onion and garlic. And then I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of red chili flakes. We're gonna season that as well with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's a great habit to season every layer as you go. And we're gonna sweat the onions a little bit. Wait for them to be a little bit translucent. Be very fast in a minute or so. The onion is translucent, we're gonna add our shrimp in. And that shrimp takes very quick, so about a minute here. Once the shrimp turns a little bit pink here, you don't have to have it cooked, we're gonna add our tomato in. I'm using about half a can of tomato here, so um, about 400 milliliters. I'm gonna crank the heat to high. So let's check on our pasta and see how it is. It's been about 10 minutes now, and we want it to be al dente. So not fully cooked because it's gonna cook a little bit in the sauce itself. So I'm gonna quickly taste it. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the stove and then let it sit there while we do the sauce. When the sauce has come to a boil. We're gonna add our mussels in. As well as our clams. And then to that, we're gonna add some Italian spices. So dried oregano, parsley, and basil. I'm gonna mix it all up. And we're gonna cover to boil so that the mussel can cook. After about three minutes, our mussel should cook. And as you can see, all of the mussel have opened means that they're cooked and the ones that are not open means that they're dead so just chuck them away so the next step here is we're gonna add our pasta into the sauce here so we're just gonna directly transfer it from this pot 
And that's okay if some pasta water gets into the sauce because it's going to have the starch and thickens the sauce as well. So the pasta is going to cook inside the sauce for another about a minute. Okay. We're going to mix it all up. So after about a minute being cooked here, you want to make sure that you taste the pasta and the sauce and flavor and season as you need just before it gets off. And then lastly, I'm going to add some butter and some Parmesan cheese. And then mix it all up together. And then I'm going to turn off the stove and cover it and let it sit there for about another minute. Et voila! Ready to be served. Garnish that with some Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley. I love this dish because it's so easy, simple, delicious, and at the same time really impressive. I always get compliments when I make this dish. As usual, like, subscribe, and when you make this, share it with the ones you love.